This is the weekly update for women who are pregnant at this time or thinking of becoming pregnant and their families during the pandemic of COVID-19. There has now been a change to how all pregnant women should be screened for pregnancy diabetes, known medically as gestational diabetes. It is very important for us to know if a pregnant woman has gestational diabetes. First, there are real risks to the unborn baby's health if there is diabetes of which we're not aware. Excessively high blood sugar levels can cause the baby to grow too much or at times too little. And if no action is taken, the risk of stillbirth may increase. Second, there may be lifelong consequences for your child. Exposure to excessively high levels of sugar before we are born can set us up for obesity and diabetes in later life. This means that actions we take today can impact the future health of the child for the next 80 years or so. Until now, we have recommended that every pregnant woman has a glucose tolerance test between 24 and 28 weeks of pregnancy. This test involves you arriving at the pathology collection facility, fasted, having a baseline blood test, followed by a concentrated sugar drink, and then having to wait quietly while two more blood samples are taken one and two hours later. We are now very concerned about having so many women waiting for so long in small waiting rooms. There is a new recommendation from our Royal Australian and New Zealand College of Obstetricians and Gynaecologists. Until the pandemic is over, the two hour glucose tolerance test should not be performed. Instead, the diagnosis of gestational diabetes will be made based on what happened in previous pregnancies together with results from one or more fasting blood sugar levels without the sugar drink and the two hour wait. You will find a link to details of the new recommendation at the end of this presentation. Please note that across Australia and New Zealand there are differences in practice, so you may wish to speak to your doctor. Second, please be reassured that the ongoing information from elsewhere in the world, in particular from New York, is telling us that getting COVID-19 while pregnant does not increase your chance of becoming severely ill when compared with getting the infection for the rest of the population. It is indeed possible to develop severe pneumonia, but the risk is the same as for everyone else. This has not been the case with previous viral epidemics, and why this virus appears to be so different is unknown to us at this time. Australia and New Zealand are doing well flattening the curve. Our success is the result of our populations observing appropriate social distances frequent hand washing and using common sense. But it is far too early for us to let our guard down. Be reassured that we're heading in the right direction, but we need to keep fighting this virus. In the meantime, know that the extra time we have now earned for ourselves has given our hospitals precious time to prepare in case things turn for the worse. Keep up the great work, everyone and I'll be back in one week for the next update when I'll be speaking to pregnant women as well as their partners. Thank you.